Mickey. Uh, it's still quarantine coronavirus time, and I've gotten really back into disc golf this year, probably the most since the late aughts, 2009, maybe, when you and I were going quite a bit, right before everybody started having kids. So this is my summer, fall 2020 in the bag. Uh, first, I upgraded to a backpack bag. This is a MVP Voyager Slim. It's pretty tough. Um, it's got this guy here, which uh, folds up. Gives me access to the discs, which come out pretty easily, but not so easily so it can fall over. And then it's got a huge upper compartment here, closed, zippered, Velcroed. It's got Velcro that uh, connects here. You can leave it open or tuck it in. Um, and then it's got two water bottle pockets that are pretty fancy uh, and two side storage pockets. Uh, I've got nothing in there for this part of the in the bag here. I've got my towel hooked up to it, um, sunglasses, hand sanitizer, keys, wallet, cell phone, go in uh, little side pockets in there. It's pretty great. Let's start with the putters because I think that's what everybody does. Um, I'll put this down. Putters still sticking with the magnets. Um, it turns out the magnets that I've been using for a long time are rare. I just determined this. Uh, and you can sell them for money. Mine are a little beat up though. They're really floppy. Uh, so I got some new soft magnets. Um, this one is really floppy because it's like this black, almost like, I don't know. I think it's because it's black. It gets floppier in the heat and the sun. And this one's a little stiffer. So if I do throw them, um, this one is for short approaches and will kind of stick to the ground pretty good and is really flippy. This one is a little bit straighter, a little more stable. Uh, so soft magnets. And I recently also just added non-soft magnets, just the regular Pro D magnet. Uh, this is for a throwing putter. So trying to drive with it a little bit more. Um, it's pretty neutral straight, but you can hyzer flip it. Um, moving up to putt and approach. My babies, the Innova Whale. I've got two in the bag right now. I've actually got a couple of these. This is a, a KC Pro Whale with the special Orca stamp on it versus the regular Whale. Um, this thing is like my go-to approach, super straight. Uh, this one is straight to slightly, a little bit of fade at the end. And then I've got this one that's a G-Star and it's because of the, these are really beefy, like it's like a beefy AVR. Um, but just because of the sort of bigger rim, this one's pretty floppy for a G-Star, especially in the summer. Uh, and it's really flippy. This is my own. This is my Lithuania, as I call it. So Lithuania uh, symbol, like old school medieval one. And this whale stamp that I put on it got a little bit of bleed, but I still love the stamp. Um, this one, I've Anheuser approaches, straight approaches. Um, it'll flip, but yeah, it's understable. But otherwise, these are like laser beams, dead accurate. They're really worth trying out. Now on to the most interesting, my first West Side disc. This is a West Side harp. Um, I, as I understand it, it's really similar to the zone. Um, my buddy Chris Edmonds, who you know, actually got a zone. I've thrown it a little bit. I think I like this better. It's like ultra flat to almost puddle, like negative flatness on the top there. This is in BT hard. I didn't know any other plastic. I think it's like... Um, it's stronger than than XD plastic or DX plastic. It's a little more durable, a little bit grippier, um, maybe closer to pro. It's like a hard pro plastic. Uh, I'm using this for forehand approach shots, forehand sort of mid-range shots. It's a 4-3-0-4, um, but if you really rip it, it'll go pretty straight and fade out at the end, but you can also get a nice um, little flex shot out of it. So man, I'm using this all the time for approach shots, uh, like really relying on the forehand. It's awesome. Mid ranges. This is where the, my bag gets small. I've got a gap or just, I'm just not finding. I was using a newer Discraft Meteor, but it was in uh, Elite Z, which is like champion plastic. And like, I'm just off champion plastic. I just cannot release it too early, release it too late. It just does not come out of my hands. It's too slippery. I'm off it. So um, I'm back to this first run Skeeter in DX now. I've got a star X out in the mail because this is getting beat up as I use it more. But this is another 
Um, super domey. And this one's even probably a little um, uh, tacoed already, so I need that star one. But super domey, super glidey. Um, I can almost frisbee throw it, just a little flick of the wrist, and it carries and goes pretty straight. It's a it's a five five minus one one. So it's like just a little bit of turn back and forth. You can Anheuser it. It'll hold it. You can Heiser flip it. Um, but it's like tunnel shots like Mineral Springs, hole four, if you remember that. I'm just throwing this at like 60% power just to get it straight and not bang off a bunch of trees. Um, but this is, I'd say, the only true mid-range I have right now. Uh, my wife stole my Buzz uh, SS. But I don't, it's, I don't have any, I'm either throwing my harp and my whale at like full power or close to full power or I'm going to a fairway driver. This is a jelly chain um, from Sun King Discs. It's a TL3. It's the only champ plastic I've still got in my bag, I think. Uh, maybe there's one other one. I'm mostly off it, but you know what? I'm not even throwing that this much, but it's really versatile. It's like, um, I've got it here. It's kind of like a T-Bird. It's one faster. It's an eight, and it's a little less glidey. It's eight, four, minus one, one. So this is just something with a little more control when I don't want to huck a driver but for the most part, I've clubbed down quite a bit, which you'll see as we get into drivers, which is next. Uh, drivers, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start at the top on this one. I've been going up, but I'm gonna now go drivers fast and back. Oh yeah, Corona hair. I might stick with it forever, we'll see. Um, starting, I still am thumbing quite a bit, but not nearly as much as when we used to play. Um, my backhand drives have gotten way better. And I've incorporated forehand or flicks a lot more when I need to. Uh, we'll get into that. But I'm still thumbing for holes that call for it, um, escape shots, things where I've got a big ceiling. Um, I have... If you remember, man, a long time ago, it might have been 08, 09, we went to Flip and Z Disc uh, tournament. I had an ace with a um, with a flick uh, It's getting beat up, and I didn't want to beat it up more. So I have this titanium flick with this rainbow stamp. Um, this is my biggest. This thing will hold, when I thumb it, this thing will hold that line forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and only turn at the last minute. So I get the most distance on it, but the least sort of turn. Um, but yeah, still super reliable. Venom. They don't make this disc anymore. I've got two. Uh, I've got this one in Elite Z, and I've got one in ESP. And I don't know what I'm going to do when these break or disappear and run out of them. Uh, i got to find what's close to it. But this thing, another Lithuania stamp I put on it, this thing is my go-to thumber. It does exactly what I know the ex like exact flight pattern, turn. Um, this is the one that I try to hit the basket on hole three at Mineral. Just that perfect comes down out of my hand to the right, halfway turns, ends up dead straight. <clears throat> if I throw it at a bit of an angle, I can get that flare skip um, that looks random, but is pretty predictable, the best. Um, and again, this is an Elite Z, which is essentially champ plastic. This gets forgiven because uh, the early and late releases when I throw them backhand, um, and I, I don't have the problem with the thumber and durable, because this thing comes down like a effing rocket laser beam javelin out of the sky. Um, and you need that durability, so this is a go-to. Banshee, another one I've had for a while um, uh, with my ghost stamp on it. It's really beat up. Uh, this is shorter thumbers, approach shots where I need to nail it. Uh, I need to get over a tree, scrambling. Uh, this is my go-to. But I have also started to forehand it when I really needed to dump at the end. Um, it's not super stable. Uh, turn-wise out of my hand anymore, but it will still dump at the end with a fade. So, uh, pretty versatile little disc. Now, onto my babies. These are Thunderbirds with my Thunderbird stamps here that I really love. Should probably get that right for you. Uh, this one is a 175, and it's in Pro. Uh, this is my God disc, man. I can do... This is backhand... These aren't super fast Thunderbirds, right? They're in 9... 9502. Um, this is, other than the beast that we'll get to, this is my go-to. I'm not throwing much faster than this. I've minimized my, my drivers. But this is backhand and forehand. This just does what I want it to do. 
It's controllable. You can shape it. It's got a little stability. I love it. Um, and speaking of clubbing down, so this is mostly the, what I'm throwing. This one is the G Star, uh, which has a really sweet sort of shimmer and pattern to it. You can kind of catch in there. And this one is a 166 G Star. It's not nearly as floppy as that whale one is. Um, and it feels great in the hand. Don't have any release issues with it. Uh, and it is just a little bit lighter. I found like I'm just going down to that like high 160s has helped me a lot. So really happy with that. Moving right along. Another disc that I can't find. We got this in our mystery pack many years ago. Uh, this is a, a uh, misstamped from a, a tournament sponsored by Budweiser Select, which is a beer that doesn't exist anymore. This is the 2007 Bowling Green Amateur Disc Club Disc Golf Club Championships. Uh, it is a Surge FLX um, factory second. I don't know what weight it is. It's probably in the low 170s, uh, but it's the ESP Flex. It's listed, this is before they did their move to the standard four numbers. It's listed as a 1.7 stability. I thought when I took this out of our mystery box, I was gonna be overhanding it, backhanding it. it, it is, it's floppy and a little beat in. It is not a 1.7, it's slightly stable. Um, I was throwing this backhand a lot, it was my go-to, but with the Thunderbirds, uh, I'm using it less. And it might come out of the bag at some point, we'll see. DX Beast. Um, I stopped throwing the Valk for whatever reason. I had this 169 uh, DX Beast and was having good, good luck with it. So um, this is really the only understable driver that I have in the bag right now. I'm trying to simplify a little bit. I have multiple versions of the disc versus lots of discs. Um, so Beast, and then obviously once I started throwing it more, it's getting beat up pretty quickly. Um, 10, five minus two, two on the Beast. So I got a Star X out and put another Beast stamp on it. Um, so this is a 166 Pro, sorry, I said Star, Pro Beast. I'm really digging the Pro Plastic overall. I know it beats in a little faster than Star, um, but I th the grip, the, I don't know, something about it I like. So this is a Pro Beast in 166. And that is my in the bag other than my whale sack with dinosaur print on it. These are great. Uh, pro disc golfer Eric Oakley, his wife makes them. They live in Portland. You can tie them to your bag. It's just a rosin bag, um, which is great for the Pacific Northwest. Winter is coming. Uh, that's my in the bag, man. Um, hope you're playing some rounds and uh, maybe uh, you can give me an in the bag sometime soon. It could be an email. You don't need to video it. Talk to you soon.